What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis video. All right guys, on the free to play account, here's my free to paint. I just want to give you guys a little bit of an update of where we are, how we're doing, and how long it's been. So, if you, if you guys know, I made a video a while ago saying I'm restarting a brand new F2P because my account got deleted during one of those maintenances because I didn't link it. This time we are linked. Unfortunately, I lost quite a few days in terms of actual progression right i think it was roughly about four days worth of progression so we had to start over i think we're on what day three or four now they've oh we're on day six now okay good day six i was like where what day are we on uh, i haven't been playing it too too much but i've been trying to keep up with it as much as i can today was the first day i've actually given it a go so i want to talk about something real quick i want to talk about uh free to play versus whales this has been an interesting topic to see of course in every gotcha this is a, a major topic and it's one that I always laugh at because whenever as a content creator I make content uh, on my like on my main account, which I don't, again, wail on very many games, but whenever I do, it's funny to see the reaction of people when you beat content and you just show a perspective from a different audience. So it always, like, so I put out the Very Hard Ifrit video, right? And, and there was funny comments here and there about like, oh, you wailed through it, you wailed through it. Here's the funny thing about it, right? The content I make is for everybody. It's not just for free to play. It's not just for for whales. It's for everybody. So if you if you enjoy what you see, you just watch. If you don't, then you don't, right? But it's crazy in a game like this where PVE is such a major focus, and that pay to win accounts are in fact helping free to play players. That we that in, in every kind of environment, whales still get. Or in my case, is I'm a dolphin. I spent four hundred so far. In my case, it's like. I've ran two major community two uh, four hour events now to help people who have no reason to be getting their weapons from these events for free, right? And as a content creator, like I enjoy doing that kind of thing. But it's crazy to see how like how some of the community reacts to someone who has a reason to spend their money on a game, especially for tax purposes. I've made it perfectly perfectly clear why I'm doing it. So here's my free to play account. I just want you guys to know that I am in fact running one. Okay, so you guys can see here, it's not hard to really do much. I've I've been very very seldom on playing. I'm 67k right now. Here's my account. Right, I'm working on it currently. Level 45 cloud, 4040 on Aerith and Tifa. I'm using Tifa here because I want to play with a different unit. Of course, I just literally unlocked Materia uh, to start uh, crafting synthesizing Materia. And in terms of story mode, like here's where I'm at. Right, I'm focusing on story right now, to try to get it done because I just haven't had a chance to really play this as much as i would like to clearly because life is just cray cray so this is what i'm currently working on so i'm on i'm on chapter or chapter two um working on getting that done and then actually sorry my chapter two or chapter three right now chapter three yeah so here we go chapter three is where i'm at i don't know why i said chapter two here for a second so trying to complete this get it out of the way and then focus on moving past midgar and then going into the first soldier and completing that so you guys can see here, I am working on that right now. Now, in terms of actual weapons and stuff that I have going on here, you guys can see here, it is completely free to play, by the way. I can show you guys this as well, too. Like, nothing has been purchased, right? Everything's the same, limited editions. All the packages are still here, right? The $0 one, of course, everybody gets. The specials are all here still. Like, nothing has been touched at all. So, just so you guys know, I am working on a free to play account. And I'll be honest with you guys. I'm getting a lot of comments like, "Oh, like you've got like 133k or 140k on your on your on your main account, and here as a free to play, like it's impossible to reach even 60k or 70k." Like, no, it's really not. It really is actually fairly straightforward if you're focusing on the right things. And I made a whole focus video on this, right, to help people out with that. Like, your main focus as a free to play player is going to be your stats from your sub weapons and your main weapons you're really going to be focusing on survivability like hp stat the boost hp stat is the most important stat in the game for almost every occasion and the reason behind that is because you're not really forced to fight against any timers for the most part there's some battles where yes you do have to finish content quick before the the opponents just starts thrashing you for example the iron giant with aoe swings but for the most part most battles if you can break sigils with the proper setup if you can attack weaknesses and you have enough HP to survive, you're going to do fine. Like, and it's it's not that deep, guys. I, I just don't get I don't get this mentality, the shark mentality of like, oh, this person beat this because he's got an OP account. I, I said this before on that Ifrit comment. Like, 
I'm, I got seven Murasames in one summon video. Like literally in almost like 8 to 10k worth of diamonds, I got seven. It was the craziest summoning event I've ever had in my life. And it's crazy to know that I'm being punished. I guess it's not a plea. I'm just, I'm just explaining, right? It's just crazy to know that I can be punished for something by being lucky and looked at as a whale, even though I've spent roughly about $400 so far. It's wild. It's crazy to me. So just remember that, guys. When, when you guys are looking for help and you guys are like, oh, I'm stuck on something, it's usually those guys who spend that are nice enough to carry you through co-op, right? So again, it's it's not that deep, guys. Don't don't make it about yourselves. Don't make it about spending money versus not spending money. It's really not about that, right? It's it's more about like this is this is a like as a content creator, my goal is to give you guys different perspectives of how to run events, how to beat content, whether it's gonna be from the free to play perspective here, right? Which I will be doing, obviously, or it's gonna be from a pay to win perspective. And it's not even that pay to win. Like I have people in my in my discord who have double my power like 200 plus k already and i'm just i'm trying to just take it easy because i don't want to be too far ahead on the pay to win scale because it just it'll just look too unrealistic right now again because i got i got super lucky in summons it doesn't mean i'm going to punish myself and not use the weapons that the game gave me right if it happened on my free to play free to play account people would say the same thing oh this guy's a you know he spent money or it's just it's all luck and you know it's crazy just remember it's just we're all we're all a community we're all here to play a game we're all here to have fun if you guys don't like the content that i that i produced hey by any by no means do i punish you guys for for speaking your mind i've had people insult me from the past i have it happen now it's just part of the part of the gig of being a content creator like it comes with the territory it's something that we all face one way or another um i'm not here to please everybody i'm not here i'm not going to be everyone's cup of tea that's clear but at the same time i think you guys have to and I, i'm not speaking me for me as a content creator i'm speaking for the general populace here you have to remember in a game that's purely pve based and you're running with these whales who are helping you beat content and instead of being like yeah this guy beat this because of this it should be more like, hey, you know what? This is actually not a bad thing. It saves me money and I can also finish content and enjoy some of these harder harder thing events because of some of these players. So keep that in mind, right? Now, from the free-to-play perspective, I'm going to continue working on this and try to get it up so I can show you guys that it's not just about being a pay-to-win or whatever, whatever you want to call it, right? It's about just strategy and understanding the game and the concepts behind how to handle certain fights, how to build your characters, how to prepare them. And I think that will make more of a difference than, than you guys think, right? Yes, it's obviously nice to have some weapons maxed out, obviously, clearly, right? But again, you're only competing with yourself. In this game, it's only competition against yourself. Like, if, you, if you're upset that you don't have enough power, you're not affected by leaderboards. You're not affected by PvP. There's nothing stopping you from just taking your time and enjoying the game. Like all my crystals literally were used for, for three things. Number one, my initial summons to get uh, an extra copy of Murasame just so I can have the six star, which I did get, luckily. I got myself a mithril rod from just the gotcha tickets. I've only been using gotcha tickets since then. The other the other times I've spent my crystals, but my blue crystal specifically has been on unlocking the three chocobos, which cost a little bit, right? And then all the synthesis sections to get more material synthesis going i unlocked every single one of those that was, that was just recent that's why i'm farming this now to get all the, all the recipes so remember guys just don't criticize somebody again i don't care if you do it to me it's it's just it's just crazy to see because i have i have friends on discord who are the same way who have helped a ton of people and people are like oh they're only going ahead because they paid yeah okay so what who cares you guys are you guys are reaping the benefits right and this is why i, I do this in most games i make a free to play and i make a pay to win account uh well the pay to, pay to win account i don't normally do but that's something i do if i want to do testing but i make a free to play account always in every game because i think it's more relatable to everybody but at the same time the whole free to play mentality guys just knock it off man honestly it's so annoying like even as somebody who who can play free to play and does play free to play for most games I hate that mentality of like insulting other people just because they want to spend their money. I only say, I only insult people when they spend their money when they can't afford it. Like spending responsibly is one thing for me that's super important with these games because I feel like there's a massive amount of people that have addictions to gotchas. And I'm, if you guys know anything about my channel, if you've been following me for some time, I'm all about talking about that and, and being, 
you know, and sending the message of spend, spend within your means so you don't ruin your life. At the end of the day, these are pixels that will be returned to the company that sold them to you and you will never see your money back, right? It's very important to remember that. And I think if you have that in the back of your head, you may enjoy the game a little more and spend a little less only if you can't afford it. But if you can't afford it, or for me, like for me, it's a, ta it's a tax write-off and it helps me with my taxes. I'm not going to sit here and, and watch people say things to me and, ta and, and be like, no, you know what, they're right. Uh, I shouldn't take, <laughs> take, you know, take the benefits of a tax write-off just because somebody says, oh, I'd be something because I'm paid to win. Anyways, guys, I just want to bring this up. I think it's an important topic. Let me know how you guys feel. Um, I, know, I know a lot of people, as a content creator, a lot of people expect you to... I guess rise above the the pressures, right? Of of enjoying the game how you want to enjoy it and present it how people want to see it. Just remember guys, some people do this content creating thing for fun. I mean, my tips are just as valuable to some people as someone else's tips are to you, right? If you don't like the tips and and things that I'm given, I'm giving out then just, you know, you can watch for fun or you can just ignore it and move on. It's, it's I think it's a very simple thing to do. And I understand freedom of speech and, and you know, um, expressing yourself is very important for a lot of people. So you guys can obviously let people know how you feel and what's on your chest. Totally. I'm okay with that as well. But it's just remember, like, you're, you're not, if you're not being productive in any way, shape, or form with your, with your criticism, you're not helping the content creator. You're not helping your community out. So try to think of that before you spew something out and, and you know, decide to to say your piece. I think it's very important to be very respectful. Now, for someone like me personally, when I make a mistake, I'm the first one to own up on it, right? You'll see me apologize in videos, you'll see me edit things, right? For example, the Astro, Astro Giant, when I made the, the, the video for that, I didn't realize that the buffs were going down with when I was doing physical attack down, and I, I said that it didn't work. I And somebody pointed that out, I went back to the video, I'm like, oh crap, yeah, he's right. That's how I was able to do it the first time. It does work. And then I, I you know, I made the video, I, I adjusted the video, I adjusted the title, and I apologized in the following video that I made that mistake. So guys, it's, it's, again, everybody's human, we all make mistakes. As a content creator, I'm not perfect, right? I'm gonna also have things that I'm gonna say incorrectly once in a while, but that's why we have a community in place. It's to, to do the, exactly that, it's to help one another to learn. The only difference with me and you is, I have a platform where people watch me and I can, put videos out that are helpful and hopefully, you know, guide people in the right direction. Anyways, guys, this is Payne. I'll be focusing on my free to play uh, for quite some time. Remember, if you're stuck, don't stress, like take your time. Again, you're competing with yourself. I'm for currently focusing on getting all my material stuff out of the way. I've got 99 stamina tonics kicking around, saving everything for Sephiroth. If he drops as a free to play, I think it's, it's the wisest move for me. As you guys can see here, I have a lot of blue crystals to go after. And I am kicking around 67k. I'll probably be 75k by the time the end is the end of the day today. So you know, I could have done that honestly probably day one if I really wanted to, and I pushed. But I've been focusing on my main account because I've been having a lot of fun helping people, uh, being carried through co-ops, helping people through the event, and just finishing storylines and stuff that are, the game has to offer right now at that level. And eventually, the free-to-play will probably be my main focus, and I'll probably be making more free-to-play guides for you guys as well. And the thing is, I want you guys to remember something. The tips I put out isn't meant for pay to win or free to play. It's just a general tip. It's like you can use the same strat either way. The only difference is where you use it. The power scale obviously for pay to, pay to win is going to be higher. But it doesn't mean the strat won't be available to you at the lower levels. It'll work the exact same way. The only difference is it's just one person gets higher rewards. The other person gets lower rewards. It's really, really not that different to be quite honest. Anyways, guys, this is Payne. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Again, be, be yourselves. Like, have fun. Talk. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys are um, on the same vibe as me, you know, let me know. If you guys are completely on a different mindset, let me know as well. Again, just, just be respectful. I think that's the most important thing as a community. I try my best as a, as a role model and as somebody who has covered gotcha games for a very long time to be as, as positive and as um, giving as possible to my community. And I think it's important that you know, the level of respect we show each other is is always there. Because at the end of the day, that's all you really have. It's just a game, right? Um, my job is to entertain. My job is to help you guys out with tips and tricks. And I hope I'm doing that. And if I'm not, I apologize to you. And I mean, there's other content creators you can, always, of course, go watch. But at the end of the day, 
Uh, I love you guys. You guys are my community. I'm going to continue doing the weekly runs. I'm going to continue focusing on this free-to-play account, and I'll hopefully be able to help you guys advance in your free-to-play account again, and also be doing my main account for those who are further ahead and want to see things completed that they may not have completed. All right, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.